Alrighty, what's up, fellas? Welcome to this episode, this installment of In My Library. Today, we're going to be playing Foul Play. Playing, play, Foul Play, the play thing. Uh, it has controller support. I'm loving that. I'm looking over here like the camera's over there. Hi! No, camera's up there. That is my recording stuff over there. My mic is kind of peaking a little bit. So I'm going to move that back a little bit. Uh, that's better. Foul play reference. Uh, we recommend configure. If you're using the keyboard or an alternate controller, we recommend configuring. No, no, it's okay. Uh. Perform, I guess. <laughs> yes. Yes. That is. That right there, that's me. <laughs> that's me. Uh. <laughs> um Sure, I I mean I, I've never played this game. <laughs> um I think it's like a God, I'm still peeking the mic a lot. I think it's like a uh a beat em up, I think. Uh I guess I can't do anything except play this one, so I mean Ah, oh, but the player two looks so cool too. I was about to say, is there voice acting? Because <laughs> I like doing my own voices sometimes. Good evening, I am the renowned um, pff, pff, metologist, Baron Dashforth. I hunt in the dark monsters and things in this world. I can tell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I have spent a life blinding and banishing the unspeakable. And tonight I promise to recount these adventures to you. Oh, okay, I get it. So, I fully intend to, you, you will know everything, I promise. So, what, he was like a hunter and he runs these plays to demonstrate what he did, I think? You, dot dot dot, may not thank me for it. Really? Uh, you, sir, are a badass. Mr. Scampwick. Oh, mm -hmm. hi there. It was Cairo, 1895. The British Empire had lost contact entirely with the dig site. I immediately suspected foul play. Ha! <laughs> Come, Mr. Dashforth. Is... <laughs> oh. 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 Ah, uh, I like it. One thing I do want to see... Uh, no, I cannot, it would appear. Uh, the game is like, like, I don't know if the recording is going to be like that, but it's like, it's smaller than the screen. It's kind of weird. I'm wondering if it's like, because my TV is smaller, I don't know. No, I don't know. Bandits! Hand delivered, as promised, I shall expect a generous cut. You intend to rob us, gentlemen? Goodness no, Mr. Dashboard. We intend to kill you first. What a bunch of polite folk. You know, I I want to like lower the mic volume. I tried just lowering the gain on the mic. Um. Uh. Is that it? That's that's got to be it. Is that better? I don't know. No, I think I'm increasing it on accident. Fuck. 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 Okay, there we go. There we go, that's better. <laughs> Technical difficulties. And then loot your corpse. Classic white chap tourist trap, sir. I shared a clock earlier. I suppose we can, can't blame the chap for trying, Mr. Scampwick. Let us make this quick dash for him. Oh, I intend to. Oh. Okay, uh, I can tell you I do like the combat so far. It's very fun, actually, so far. Like, just fighting those two guys, that was pretty awesome. Follow the guide's tracks, Mr. Scamp. Like, I love the whole, the whole, like, the scene thing. It's our only chance to escape this blasted sand pit. 
I'm trying not to look over there, but as you can tell, maybe I'm actually facing that direction. <laughs> like my chair is like faced that way, and my my keyboarding craps over here, so it's kind of in the way. Can't even see where I'm motioning because it's zoomed in. But the moodometer measures how much the audience are enjoying the show. Link your attacks and avoid getting hit to build excitement. If the meter drops below zero, the curtains will fall on tonight's performance. So I just gotta like keep everything different really best way of boosting audience move yeah I can tell oh no you hit me you dick face yeah bitch get out of here get out of here uh uh you are not lowering my meter bitch get out of here oh man this is fun I actually like this uh Block incoming attacks with parry. Grabbed enemies are vulnerable. I, uh... <clears throat> I was very tentative buying this game. We had a thread on the forums about this game. And I, uh... It looked interesting when I watched, like, the trailer or whatever. Or the gameplay trailer thing. And, uh... But no one I had known had bought it yet, so it was just kind of up to me. I got a voucher for 33% off, so it was like 10 bucks for me. It goes for 15 usually. <laughs> Fucking janitor. Um, so I was kind of nervous when it came to buying this. And I was actually going to do a different game today for the In My Library video. Um, but I figured... Since I actually knew a little bit more about that game than I do this game, that this would make for just a better overall video. If that makes sense. I got an achievable amateur dramatic. I, lo I love, so far, I love everything about this game. I love the music too, it's, it's great. Your new fame level is unlock parry throw maneuver. So that's like my leveling up, okay, probably, maybe. Yep, I'm level like two or whatever. Parry and then throw. Seems simple enough. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry if I'm being really quiet. This is just... It's, uh, it's really bringing me back to Streets of Rage that I used to play, like, all the time as a kid. Oh my god. I love beat-em-ups. That's how I discovered and bought Castle Crashers and became a moderator on their forums and everything because they created a really good beat em up game and I just ever since I was a kid probably as a result of playing Streets of Rage that was uh, some of the first games Streets of Rage 2 is actually I think the first game I ever played um, that's probably where my love for beat em ups came from but this is like expanding on it like a whole bunch it's it has the heavy and the light hit like most beat em ups do um, this, this one is different in that it has a parry instead of a block, which some modern, uh, beam-ups will have the block, obviously, like Castle Crashers does, but this one has the parry button, and then it also has the jump, which, uh, I have yet to see if there's, like, a special, though. It also has that dodge roll thing, but I haven't seen, like, a special move yet, but that's probably incorporated into the whole combo system at this point. God. <laughs> Scampwick, are there any other Whitechapel customs we sh could share for our good friend? Depends whether we can rustle up a sack and set a billiard ball, sir. I probably just butchered that sentence. <laughs> Invaders! Infidels! Alarm! You remember what I taught you about larger foes, Mr. Scampwick? Aim for the crotch, sir. Excellent, carry on. <laughs> Bitch, you ain't got nothing on me. Oh, I'm just parrying and dodging the shit out of you, and you ain't gonna do nothing about it. I am beating you so hard you are off screen at this point. Oh, he actually hit me that time. <laughs> Where's my health? Do I have health? Or is it just based on the audience's thing in the jig? I think it's based on the audience's thing. I don't know if I have health or not. I 
I remember the biggest thing about this game was that, like on the forums, was that the person who created the thread said that they were stealing the uh, idea from Castle Crashers, and I just thought that was hilarious. And they were also stealing the audience from Battleblock Theater, even though plenty of games have had audiences before BBT did. Uh, a notable example would be the Thousand Year, uh, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, which is another one of my favorite games, at least for that era. Paper Mario is one of my favorite series. Obviously, you'd know that if I, uh, if you watch this channel, because I, I still have that Let's Play of uh, Super Paper Mario, and that is not canceled, for any of you wondering. That is, that is still going. Uh, I just, I, I need to get around to recording the videos for it because I'm just so busy with work. I just, I've just been relying on my uh, Outlast videos and just gotten lazy over time, I guess. Uh, which, by the way, Outlast is going to be over soon, so I probably do need to hurry up and get some other videos. I also need to record for Chicola, though, so, I mean, well, I don't need to. We have like a billion videos for that right now. It's backlog, like. We already have a bunch of series we haven't recorded yet. So I, I, I guess I could focus more on my channel. Fools, my men will ha suffer a thousand cuts. No! <laughs> Mr. Dashforth's gonna mess you right up, mate. Ain't that right, Mr. Dashforth? Mr. Scampook, that child seems to be in the midst of a terrible fit. Reckons he's a big fan of yours, sir. Save him, uh, save until last, Mr. Dashforth, then have Mr. Scampwick kick him in the unmentionable. <laughs> hmm, above all things, we must win the audience. Follow his advice. Defeat the leader last. Okay. Um. One thing I did want to get out there, th another reason, this is another reason I, uh, did not record any Paper Mario in the last week or so, is because, if you recall from last week, I, uh... Oh my god, this is just awesome. Uh, if you recall last week, I said I was going to try and do a LP of La Mulana. <laughs> uh, that mm, did not turn out well. I actually did record footage for it. Uh, good, probably an hour or so total. Get out of here, bitch. And, um... After looking up countless things like walkthroughs and whatnot, I actually learned that the game is chock full of lots of puzzles and whatnot. Uh, I learned that just by playing, obviously, but it makes for very, very bad commentary. It's just. It's not good. I, uh. All the footage I had, I, I scrapped it all. Uh, it's just. It's, it's not good. It is really not good. These guys look kind of possessed. Dot. 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 <laughs> Kit. How do you forget that line, you fucking idiot? Defend yourself, Mr. Scamboy. You'll get no quarter here. You know, I... <laughs> I don't want to get your hopes up, guys, if you're enjoying this or not, but I might actually turn this into an LP. This is actually really fun. Um, this this is my type of game. I love beat-em-ups to death. To death, I say. To death. <laughs> they... I, I quite often say RPGs are my favorite. Um, my favorite genre of game. I quite often overlook the beat-em-up genre in general. I, I have a huge love for the beat-em-up genre of game, but it's not very mainstream anymore. Get a 50 times combo? Oh shit, that's gonna be... It, uh... Beat-em-ups are not very popular anymore, and I don't know why, because they are totally the bestest. <laughs> um... They were a lot more popular back in uh, the classic era of gaming, the 16-bit genre, or the 16-bit consoles had a lot of beat-em-up games, Double Dragon, Streets of Rage, uh, 
those are the first two notable ones that come to mind. I'm not going to be able to get this 50 combo, I can guarantee it. Uh, those are the first two that come to my head, mainly because it's hard to think while trying to get a 50 times combo, but... And I keep getting fucking hit, too. You dickbag. <laughs> I love how fucking nonchalant my character is. He's just like the baddest of asses right now. Okay, I, I, I oh yes. Suck on these nuts. Get out of here. Oh my god, I am wrecking fucking house right now. Oh, 100 combo. Oh, get out. Oh my god, I love beat him up so much. These are just so fun. He was off his rocker. They were Damon bro. They were Damon broken, Mr. Scampwick, undoubtedly. Uh -huh. It seems we have come to the right place. Be cautious, follow me. Oh, this game is so much fun. How does this only have a 75 on Metacritic? Encore! I'm having a blast. Again, it could just be because of how much I love the genre of beat-em-ups, but I'm just having way too much fun with this game. <laughs> oh my god, this is just fucking grand. Uh, and it's two-player, so I should have fucking Devin come over and play this with me. That would be just awesome. Oh my god, this is so much fun. Ah. Oh. Oh my god, I, I, I literally have no more commentary. This is just so much fun. Greatest combo 101. Fame plus 470. I'm guessing fame is like the uh, experience. New page unlocked, so that's like a new act or whatever or play. Oh my god, that's great. New move unlocked. Challenges. I got every single challenge. Form a perfect scene, I'm guessing that was without taking damage. They got a bandit leader last, did it, and achieve a 50 times combo battle in Foreman. A new charm unlocked, I don't know what that is. Um, I mean, obviously the challenges will probably get a lot harder later on, later on but parry throw. I'll, I know how to do it, but I just want to read it just in case it's hilarious. When the unseemly fellow attacks, hit B whilst he is signaling his intent. Successful execution should see you grabbing the fellow by the lapels or whatever seems more conven most convenient dependent on social class and or species. <laughs> At this juncture, hit B a second time whilst pushing in a direction to hurl the attacker. That was my main thing when I was attacking the foreman to get that combo up with thrown enemies. Top tip. Not pro tip, top tip. <laughs> Use the throw to take out multiple enemies who are in line with you. Top tip, a thrown small enemy temporarily disables a big enemy. How's that for turning the tables? By completing all challenges in act, you unlock a charm. Press Y to equip it. Equip up to two charms before starting an act. Each charm bestows a unique boost player. Okay. Receive plus five combo for every successful parry. Or plus three, that's a three, not a five. Those who wear bribes foot must seriously consider the fortune it bestows upon its previous owner. <laughs> oh, that's great. Ah, I love it. I love it. And this is just play one. I wonder how many plays there are. Ah. This game is great. <laughs> I'm gonna stop playing now and give my final verdict because we're running on 19 and a half minutes right now. According to Audacity, at least about that. Maybe actually, it'd probably be more like 19, because considering the amount I'm gonna have to cut out. But uh, foul play. <laughs> would I recommend it to a friend? I, I think that should have a very obvious answer at this point. Yes, I would definitely recommend it to a friend, especially a friend who loves beat 'em up games. This is just ah, oh, finally I get to play a game I really love for in my library, and that is just great. I. I had a goddamn blast playing this game. It, you can probably hear the excitement in my voice right now. It's just, oh, finally a game that I play that I just love. Um, 
Would I continue playing? That one should be very obvious. Yes, I would continue playing. Uh, I, I, I'm seriously... I'm seriously considering let's playing this game. This is... This is really fucking fun. Uh, I... Display. Oh, that's why I didn't have it set to this. I hope that didn't fuck up my recording. Well, not that it matters. This could be a blank screen and just be the camera at this point, but uh, I, I should have changed it to full screen before. It's a darn shame I didn't. I, I might just crop the video and expand it uh, to fix that. I don't know, because I'm pretty sure it recorded in that resolution, so. Um... Would definitely continue playing this. I, I I think I'm gonna let's play this. Uh, no guarantees on that, but I'm seriously considering it, especially because I need a new game to let's play after Outlast is done, alongside Super Paper Mario, because I do like having two running series going at once. Uh, this it, it seems like it might end up being short, but it would be a really good game to play, at least for me. I, I absolutely love beat 'em ups, and playing a new one would be just great. Um, so yeah, I would definitely continue playing, I would definitely recommend it to someone. If you played, uh, split screen or co-op or whatever, I'm pretty sure it'd be even, like, ten times better. Uh, beat-em-ups are usually a lot more fun when you have a friend, or multiple friends, but I think it's only two-player co-op for this game, I'm not sure. I, I didn't know anything about it, I didn't even know there was co-op, but, uh, yeah, so, that's gonna be it today for this, today, this today episode of today <laughs> that's gonna be <laughs> i'm such a fucking idiot that's gonna be it for today's episode of in my library um remember guys to please like it comment it subscribe it um share it with your friends uh this is uh just a great time to be had by all uh, I, i'm really i put a bit more effort into in my library videos than i do in a let's play video because i make them longer i have to actually talk about the game, I mean, that, that in and of itself is pretty fucking difficult. <laughs> At least for me, I have, I have ADD, so. Um, yeah, so like I said, that's gonna be it. I already said my stuff. So, I guess that, uh, I'm gonna see you guys in uh, my upcoming videos. I still have, I think, four more episodes of Outlast, and then I'm gonna switch over to Paper Mario, Super Paper Mario, and probably play this. Uh, so, Probably look forward to this, more of this. <laughs> uh, if you like this, then stay tuned for this. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.